Hey guys, Michael Forlonger here. It's been a while since I've done a Bible study with Mike. Or Michael. So I want to talk about this. I did a first video and it was about 15 minutes long and I was told, oh Michael, that's a bit long. But I already shared it and I'm not taking it down because that's just tacky. But anyway, okay. On topic. So I spoke about exegesis, eisegesis, and a common term called narcissus. Look up those if you're... If you're curious about that, and I have a, a list of my videos, so you can look up that. A lot of other cool videos on that list as well, not all Bible study related. Anyway, so what I want to talk about right now, I'm going to make sure, is I want to simplify the gospel message. Now, if I say gospel message, you're thinking Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. The gospels of the Bible, the good news of the Bible, the good news that Jesus Christ came, the good news that he died on the cross for our sins. That's the common gospel message, but there's so much more to the gospel message. So I want to share with you the gospel message, and I'm going to share it to you from the book of Genesis. Genesis is the first book of the Bible it's in the New Testament, or Old Testament, sorry. We're going to start in in uh, chapter 3. So chapter 1 and chapter 2 we get the creation story of God created the world, God created man and woman, God put them in the garden, right? Okay, so chapter 3 verse 1. Now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, did God really say you must not eat from the, any tree in the garden? Verse 2, the woman said to the serpent, we may eat fruit from the trees in the garden, but God did say you must not eat from the Eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden, and you must not touch it, or you will die. Verse 4. You will, certain, you will not certainly die, the serpent said to the woman, for God knows that when you eat from it, your eyes will be open, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Verse 6. When the woman saw that the fruit in the tree was good for food, and pleasing to the eyes, and also desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some and ate it. She also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate it. That's, that's relevant when we go into deeper discussions that he was with her. Uh, what was that? Verse 7. Then the eyes of both of them were open, and they realized they were naked. Then So they sewed fig leaves together and made coverings for themselves. Verse 8. Then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and they hid from the Lord God among the trees in the garden. But the Lord God called to the man, Where are you? Verse 10. He answered, I heard you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid. Verse 11. This one's funny. And he, God, said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree that I commanded you not to eat from? Then... You can read from uh, the verse 12 down to, I think, verse 19. Adam says, it's the woman. She she started talking to a snake, and, and, and we ate some fruit, and and that's what we got. We, we found out we were naked. Da, 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 right? You know, so that's just a sin story. Now, here is the gospel message. You read on, you read the fall of the man, the woman, and the serpent. Now here is the gospel message, the good news, right? Verse 21, the Lord God made garments of skin for Adam and his wife and clothed them. I'll read that again. The Lord God made garments. The Lord God made are, are you are we seeing are we seeing this this is the gospel message in the beginning it is the the basis of there's so much more we need to discuss and hopefully there'll be time for me to for us to do this but the gospel message is the Lord God made the Lord God made uh, garments of skin the Lord God made a way. That is the gospel message. That is the good news. That there's nothing that we can do. All we can do is, is realize we're naked, put fig leaves on us, and hide in the bushes. That's all we got. That's, that's all we got. And the Lord God made. That is the 
basic of the gospel message. And I'm going to go through, I'm going to go through a lot more on this topic, maybe part one, part two, part three, and so on. But I want us just to understand the basis of the gospel message as we go out. Well, now we're in isolation. We're not allowed to go out. But when we tell people the gospel message, if it is anything other than Christ and Him crucified, it's nothing. If it is anything other than the Lord God made, it is nothing. And so often we share testimonies of, and I'm not saying testimonies are bad, but the gospel message is the Lord God made. Anyway, all right, that's that's my time. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. Tell me some ideas on how you try to witness to, to your friends, your family, your colleagues on social media, whatever you do. Feel free to shoot me a message. And if you disagree, feel free to tell me that too. Uh, because we probably agree on the same thing, but just different ways of saying it. Anyway, all right. You guys have a good day, and I will talk to you later. All right, bye now.